Yeah, I want to do, yeah, two sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins and a small Dr. Pepper. All right. Hello? All right, here we go. Thank you. Yep. All righty. It's been a while, folks. So we're sitting here in the car getting ready to go hit a chest workout, man. So I was going to tell you guys, man, I've been, I've been not on some nonsense lately. It's been over two weeks since I had a really good workout. I took 11 days off completely because I was dealing with some shoulder issues. You guys saw the content kind of change a little bit. Um, I'm really trying to lock in this year and get in the best shape of my life. But you guys know me. I'm all about balance and all about, you know, doing things that are applicable in the real world. So today I've got my breakfast. I got two sausage and muffins here from McDonald's. We're going to eat these real quick, get in here and crush this workout, get in my carbs, proteins, fats, getting everything I need, of course. And I'm trying to get a sick pump today. And then for pre-workout today, we're going to be doing some C4 Ultimate and a little bit of Dr. Pepper. So I know y'all already gonna be judging me. Some of y'all gonna click off the video. It's cool, but as we're getting started with this food, I wanted to say to you guys, man, you know, I've been, you know, haven't seen some success on social media lately. And during that success, I've seen a lot of negativity, which has kind of turned me off to doing the vlogs and making some of the content that I really wanted to make. And you guys know all the things I went through last year. So, you know, I fell off really hard in 2023, where I really wasn't creating as much content as I used to in previous years. But now my goal is to get in here, get in the best shape of my life, continue to build my business as a trainer, continue to build my online coaching as well and try to be the best version of me. I think I'm finally starting to feel good about myself again, feel strong, feel awesome, feel ready to go. And I wanna be inspirational to you guys. And I wanna be able to use you guys to hold me accountable to creating content. So today we're getting in here, we're crushing this chest. We're gonna push ourselves. We're gonna see how much blood we can get pumped into these muscles today. And we're gonna have some fun, man. So overall, my message with these longer vlogs is just be yourself. I'm blessed to live in beautiful Venice Beach, California. Training at Gold's Gym, the Mecca. One of the best gyms in the world. So I really want to be able to show you guys that lifestyle, show you guys that family that we have here. And just have a good time, alright? Got my girl behind the camera today, so she's going to be able to get us some more dynamic shots. It's not going to be the normal static shots. We'll probably do a couple more of these. Yeah, we're gonna get to it, all right? Before we get in here though, I got a little special drip for you guys today. You probably saw it in the thumbnail. It's gonna look pretty dope. So we're gonna train in here. Also, last thing, man. I told y'all when I said I fell off last year, you know, I had that 16 months of sobriety, ended up losing that, kind of lost myself over this last year, trying to, you know, get my habits back right. And I wanted to be transparent with you guys and they haven't been great. Especially in these last two weeks being off, I just kind of kind of feel myself spiraling a little bit and feeling a lot of anxiety and, and like anxious energy in general. And Though I've been able to set some awesome new goals and starting to make steps towards those goals, I want you to understand that just because someone on social media looks like they have it all together, that doesn't mean they do. You guys know me, I'm always transparent, I'm always honest with you guys. So I want to say, though I'm still working through those issues, doesn't mean we can't make strides towards our other goals and becoming a better person overall, right? So that was the last thing I wanted to say. All right, I'm not gonna make you wait no more. We're gonna get in the gym. We're also gonna see a tr one of my clients training today. I'm gonna wear my glasses so you can see some of that session. And then we're probably gonna end up Heading home and closing out, you guys can see Lil Blueford and we'll, we'll have a little talk at the end, all right? So let's lock in. Day one, back at the gym after 14 days off. It's gonna be a tough one. Let's go. Time to get in the gym, man. As you can see, the light is starting to come out because I eat super slow because eating and drinking pre-workout is tough. And I don't know why, like the chemical taste always gets to me. Yes, I know people should rest. I know resting is always important, but I would rather rest on a Saturday because Saturday this place is like a zoo. Like you, you can't really use anything. You come in on a Sunday morning, you have use of all the space, get in there, crush it, have a lot of fun. You know, and honestly, if you're someone who's trying to like film or even make content, it's so much easier to get in there and do it then because you have less people and less likely to get in people's way. For me, it's all about staying out of people's way. I can still get you guys great content and not affect the people here who are just trying to get their workouts in, all right? Let's get in here and let's go. One of the things I love most about Gold's Gym is like realizing that all the movies we grew up watching, whether you're from, you know, Kansas or Chicago or New York or Florida or Germany, wherever you're from, man, you, you've seen these movies, you've seen these characters, you've seen these people come to life and being able to train and run my business out of a place like Gold's has truly been inspirational to me. And it's, I can't believe it, but next week I would have lived in LA now for four years and coming here with such a big risk, came here during the, you know, two weeks to curve the spread time that we had. That's what I like to call it now, just to remind you guys of what it was supposed to be. And that's not a political statement, that's just a joke. Don't bite my head off, guys. But just having all, having all the things that you go through to move somewhere like this during that time and to still be here four years later, it's, it's just something that I don't take very lightly. 
So one of my, good morning. One of my favorite things about Gold's is this brand new Arnold book. Now I'm not gonna open it because it's kind of worn. It's only been here a few weeks, but people have definitely worn it out already. But if you want one, you can get it for $3,500. You can get your own Arnold Schwarzenegger book. So there's that. Filming today nice. for like 30 minutes. Thank you. Having the support of almost like working at a gym, but being like a freelancer is like kind of the perfect marriage of personal training and you know, being at a gym. It's really hard to find that, so it's something I really like. Let's go find this bench press real quick, but take a look at the Mecca, you know? Super quiet, no noise, nothing going on. There's not even music playing because we're here before the noise ordinance. So I think it's like 7 a.m. is when at this area they can play music loudly. So it's silent, we're gonna get in here and let's just have a really good time. First things up, bench press. All right guys, so we're starting out, we're gonna get a little barbell bench press going. Remember, my shoulder's still recovering, so my goal is to really work through the mobility. I like to do one to two second pauses at the bottom, explode up. Think about pulling that bar into your chest as you expand the air in your chest so that your chest meets the bar as it comes all the way down. I like to do 10 to 15 reps, nice and controlled here, taking my time. It's not about rushing. It's not about trying to put up a bunch of weight super fast. It's about getting your body primed to move and exhaust the muscle in order to get that growth that you need. And what I mean by that is, I need you guys to understand that while you're training, it, a lot of times people just get so caught up in the numbers. When I go live online, every time people talk to me, they're always like, oh, Quan, like, how can I get strong fast? How can I get big fast? It's not about fast. It's about slow and controlled. I like to feel everything activate as I'm going through. Being here at Gold has been great because I've got to train with so many bodybuilders. What they've taught me is it's just not about rushing the process. Feel everything start to fire, feel everything start to get going so that as you start to exhaust the muscle, you're gonna get that hypertrophy you need to really grow and get that fullness and hardness that a lot of us are looking for when we're training, all right? All right, we're going into that first set with the bench today, like I told you guys before. I'm doing about sets of eight to 12 overall after we finish that warm-up set. Again, I'm just trying to keep my shoulder blade peeled back, trying to stay nice and controlled, and I'm not rushing the rep. With what I've been dealing with in my shoulder, I'm really trying to work on, instead of being out here with it, I'm trying to stay peeled back, shoulders up, and pressing here, trying to get more stimulus in my chest. Now we're gonna go into a little superset here, put our hands close together, down nice and controlled, I have about 10 or 15 push-ups here. I like these close grip push-ups because I feel like it's a great way to get my triceps to fire and I really feel the blood start to flow to my chest. Ooh. So, as you can see, it's been a minute. So I'm a little tired already. Like I said, that two-week break really starting to get to me, but as I'm starting to feel things out, as I'm starting to get back to it, I'm learning that like, I'm not here to make excuses. I feel like this last year I've been, I've been dealing with so much in my head, dealing with so much, I don't know, it's like weird battles, right? Some days I'm really confident about this stuff. Some days I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing, right? And I've been a trainer for 13 years. What I'm learning is it's never gonna feel like the perfect time. It's never gonna feel like the right time. You're never gonna feel ready to do a lot of the things that challenge you in life. So you gotta get up and you gotta show up. You gotta come here and you gotta remember that this is your life. You decide how far you're gonna go. People are gonna come at you. There are gonna be days where things go wrong, things are gonna break, people are gonna come and go, jobs are gonna come and go, but you've got to remember your goal and why you're doing what you're doing, all right? Let's put some more weight on here though, let's get it. So we're gonna to get to 225 here now, but first, find a place to sit this. Gotta show you guys the super crazy fresh drip I got for you today, all right? So, got this authentic, 1997 50th anniversary NBA Lakers warm up for you. Got the patch on the side, all right? So we're gonna go up to 225 now. I'm gonna try to hit about 12 reps again. I'm not pushing myself too crazy today. I'm gonna try to do them controlled and I want you guys to see and understand the pacing that we're going with today. So let's go two plates. You can see this is a, a real player's shirt because I'm 6'4", and I still feel like I look 
tiny in this thing. Also, we got the chain on. I'm gonna say the chain is to hold the mic, but I woke up and I felt like I was like some like Miami Vice vibes today, you know? I don't know what's going on, but I, I broke up with some confidence. All right, 225. We're gonna shoot for like about 12 reps, all right? Again, all about taking our time, rolling those shoulder blades back. And let's get it. One, two, three, four, Oh, we're cruising. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Easy money. This is where you have to fight, folks. This is where you have to fight. I'll tell you what. I have a six, eight wingspan. It's a lot of length on that bench press, but 12 reps. Again, it's been two weeks. Feels good just to move through that pain-free. Because again, yeah, I could put 275 up there. I could try 315, but what's the point, right? Gotta stay healthy, gotta stay mobile. Let's move on to the next exercise. So with bench press, I typically go three to four sets. That'll be my last set today. I'm not gonna go anything crazy. We're gonna move on to some fly work and keep this thing going. Rate the, rate the drip down below though. Okay, back doing these chest flies. So again, it's gonna all be about control here. Not going super crazy with the reps, super crazy with the weight. It's gonna be taking our time. Big chest here, squeezing. Good, about 15 reps here. Nice and controlled, keeping those elbows just below shoulder height, squeezing the chest as hard as we can. Breathe. Like I said, it's just about squeezing. Keeping that stomach tight, shoulder blades glued to the platform, and always visualize and think about what the goal is here. Oh. See that chest balling up at the top? That's what you want. Whew. A couple more reps here. Ooh. So as you can see, as I'm doing more with those chest flies, I'm, not, again, not rushing that process. Again, it might look kind of fast. I got long arms, but the entire time I'm going through that motion of the fly, I'm squeezing my chest as hard as I can. So I'm on set one and I'm already getting a really good pump. You know, I did some flat bench press, but I'm already getting a really good pump just from doing 130 pounds on the fly. Can I put the entire fly machine on max weight? Absolutely. But that's just me using leverage to move the weight. Lighten the weight, feel that blood, feel that stimulus. That's truly how you're gonna change, guys. I promise you. All right, incline bench press up next, folks. Again, we're not going super heavy today. We're just controlling the weight, like I said. Bringing it all the way down. Press up. Big one, your shirt came undone. What are you talking about, bro? I'm, my chest didn't come undone, we're good. So you see, I'm already starting to fatigue after two or three exercises, right? But my goal isn't to obliterate my muscle. The goal is, again, to get that stimulus. As I was telling you guys earlier about understanding why you're doing what you're doing, life's not always going to give you the, like, life's not always gonna go the way you want it to go. But you have to remember to keep showing up. These vlogs, the purpose of me training and doing these videos isn't to just be like, oh, I'm so strong, I'm so jacked. No, the goal is to show you all what you can do when you truly put your mind to something. I know in some of my other content on other channels, I might seem confident, but for me, guys, I'm just making videos trying to capture attention and make you guys laugh or entertain you or teach you something. I'm never on here trying to act like I'm better than anyone, can do more than someone, or, you know, trying to put anyone down. It's all just being fun. I know a lot of you don't understand that sometimes, but no one's ever, I'm not here to make you feel any sort of way except good or inspired, you know? I sometimes wanna make you laugh. But uh, we're gonna move up, we're gonna go 185. I think the heaviest we're gonna go today on here is 185. Again, first day back, no need to try to hammer it. Let's get to it. All right, we went up to 185. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired today. I was just saying under my breath, it's so weird. Two weeks, you would think that you're still, you know, you still got it. I feel, I feel very strong today, 
I feel scared to push it, but I also feel way more exhausted than I thought I would after just like, you know, 12, 12 sets or so. But hey, we're finishing up with this 185. Oh, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna go for about six to eight again, control. Just trying to find my breath here. This isn't a weight that's super crazy for me or anything, but it, it's just an opportunity to test the shoulder without hurting myself or pushing myself too crazy. Two more. One more. Oh man, tough, tough, tough. I'm gonna say I'm trying to get at least just two more movements in. We'll go over a little bit of posing and then I'm gonna get to this next client, all right? But come on, man, we gotta subscribe to these vlogs. I'm gonna always have a lot of information packed in here, but I'm gonna try to make the videos at least 20 minutes long, 25 minutes long. So we have like a 10 minute session of working out, you know, some talking, showing this LA lifestyle, eating good food, seeing my pepperoni bluefer, all that good stuff. Showing my life, showing my clients, showing my job, showing how I survive out here. But today it's a little bit more focused on the chest day, all right? All right, I'm gonna tell you how to get out of here for a quick second. I gotta take this thumbnail. Really working on squeezing that chest. Breathe through. Again, first time doing these since my injury. Being patient with myself, not adding extra weight or anything. Ooh. Tough, man. We're gonna get just a little machine press in, go over a quick little posing, and we're gonna get out of here. But good Lord, this has been a tough one so far. You know, before we get to the chest press, let's see what the physique's looking like, all right? So we're gonna switch places. I'm gonna come over to where you guys are. We're gonna check this out. I love the drip, you know what I mean? Having fun with it, but let's see what we look like right now. Don't wanna put that on the ground, it's legendary. All right, folks, so here's the physique right now. You know, again, skin's a little dry, but. I've lost a little bit of size, a little bit of weight over the last couple months, but this is where we're at. The goal is to build a little bit more. Trying to flare these lats a bit, trying to get that pretzel shape back but it's all about having confidence in your physique wherever it is, right? I understand that where I am now was my dream some years ago. I mean, I may not be at my all time best, but I'm thankful for every moment, every set, every portion of this process, guys. Don't be so hard on yourselves. Understand that your body changes. You're gonna have different seasons in your life and it's not about looking like some sort of perfect specimen all the time or trying to keep up with people in the magazines or on the shows or in the movies or popular culture, reality TV, whoever these people are telling you whatever beauty standards you need to live by, right? Online, I get told every day that I look like I'm a 50 year old man, right? I get made fun of for my chest scar, right? This scar is something that is never gonna go away on me from an old skin infection I had 13 years ago. Even with me, people talk crap. People are gonna say things. People are gonna have things on their mind. I'm not saying their opinions don't matter, but the way you view yourself matters. Don't let outside opinions slide in and cause you to feel some type of way about yourself. You feel me? All right, let's get one more big flex here. There we go. We're getting there. All right, folks, we got a little bit of decline chest work here. Spend that rib cage pressing through that low chest. One rep at a time. Man, we just took some dope photos, I gotta tell you. I'm gonna put them up on the screen, a couple of them. Jeez, they looked really cool. I wasn't feeling very confident today. I saw those photos and I was like, well, at least a good expensive lens helps. We're doing about 10 to 15 reps here. Again, this position feels really good for my shoulder. We're getting there, folks. Oh. Hope you guys have enjoyed the workout today. Just five exercises, nothing crazy. Flat bench, incline bench, you know, flies, dips, and some decline press. Again, you don't need 10 exercises in a workout. Five to six exercises, three to four sets, guys, that's, that can be up to like 24 sets. You don't need more sets than that. You just gotta slow it down, you gotta take your time, and you gotta listen to your body. If you wanna train to your 60, 70, 80, like there's a lot of people at Gold Gym in that age range that are still training and healthy, you gotta work on having good form. Stop getting caught up on what you're seeing people do on the internet, throwing all this heavy weight around and hurting themselves. When I benched 370 two years ago, I messed up my shoulder 
for years to come. It's two years later and I'm still having shoulder impingement issues, right? It's because I was being dumb. Don't make the mistakes I made. Don't do the things wrong that I did, all right? We're gonna get one more set in, but I'm gonna do that off camera. And uh, I'm gonna get to my next client of the day and keep this day going. We're not done with the video, but the workout is done here. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Hope you guys like the physique update as well. Don't go too hard on me in the comments, but I'll see you guys a little bit later, all right? Let's get back to work. Time to check out some houses. So we're here in Venice Beach. This house right here is, I think, about $2.7 million, if I'm not mistaken. Very expensive. Again, we're looking at investment property options for in the future. Maybe now, you never know. I'm not gonna talk about that yet, but this one's about a three bedroom, three and a half bath. Downstairs, you got the kids room, you got a full bath, and then you have a guest bedroom, which I don't really like if you have children, but if not, I don't have any kids, so this works great for me. Really nice, spacious bedroom, and with another bath, so you got your two full baths downstairs. Then you head up, then you, again, just another quick view of those rooms, and then you head to this living room here, very, very spacious really nice through that door that's straight ahead you have a garage which i didn't get to see until after i was already leaving but this is what it looks like on the downstairs level then you head upstairs you have an outdoor living space that's on top remember this is upstairs got some fubuvenas then you come in you have a really nice private living room so the one downstairs is great for entertaining then you go into the master bedroom looks really good as well very big very nice little walk-in closet action you got a nice bathroom the thing that i don't like is there's no tub in the bathroom I'm a, I'm, i want a tub in my in my home all right folks so i got some waffles here you guys know we got that workout in earlier so we got some tres leches waffles if i said it wrong let me know and then we got some steak tacos here so we're gonna try both real quick and then i'm gonna get to enjoying my day but i have to show you both of them so let me unwrap this real quick my dexterity has been off today, guys, but, you know, we're having some fun today. You know, we got the YouTube sweater on. Is this fit good, too? I feel like I've been on the top of my fit game today. So we're going to try these Tres Leches waffles real quick. Take a little bit of that ice cream or whatever that is. See? This is why you work out and train hard, so you can eat whatever you want. That's not how it works. I'm just kidding. Eat whatever you want whenever you want. We're going to try the tacos next. You guys know I don't like tomatoes, but we're going to try it. No sauce. We're going to try, the try our tacos the way they're supposed to. We got steak tacos here, tres leches, waffles. Actually, hold on. That's what it looks like. You know? You know it's good when you see that drip. Fire, right? I don't quite know how to say the name of this place, but this is the name of it. Chulita. 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 So Chulita in Venice. Awesome, guys. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my food. We're going to the next. Hope you guys like the house tour as well. Let me know what you think of that house. $2.7 million, all right? Is that too cheap for you? Remember, there was no yard, but they, what you guys didn't see was they did have a garage in a very small back area that was probably like 15 square, 15 square meters. So pretty dope, pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my food and get back to my day. Sheesh. There's another house here for sale in the heart of Venice. Now, this next home was about $1.9 million, but I'm going to explain to you why this one is so important because it might sell for even less. I'm expecting like a 1.7. So this one is about two bedrooms, if I'm not mistaken, one bath, right? About 1,200 square feet. The other house we looked at was like 2,300 square feet, if I'm not mistaken. But this is 1,200 square feet, no ensuite, but I like this one more and I think you guys are going to see why. 
here's that one bathroom single sink again no double sink could use a couple renovations for sure and a nice big rain head shower which is dope come in here's the kitchen a white kitchen which i'm not really the biggest fan of but this is what it has you know it is what it is but a very nice kitchen in general though but then you walk towards the back and you start to realize something this lot is huge you got a washer and dryer got your little water heater and all that good joints again this is an old house probably 50 years old you got your little oranges in the backyard which i found to be really awesome even though that probably means more bugs but i liked it a lot you walk to the back and you're like what is this structure it is an adu folks a dwelling a place that you can rent all right so you see the front there's your carport I wish it had a garage but those windows on the side of the house are actually the windows to the bedrooms so can't really do much with that but you walk into this ADU, folks, and it's absolutely crazy. You could rent this out for about four to $5,000 a month here in LA. You come in, a full standalone house. Really cool house, man. I thought it was really fire. I think it looks really, really cool walking through. It needs a lot more work than the front, but me personally, I would renovate this first, live in it, and then rent out that front house. So for $2 million, you get a really good investment property on the land. I mean, this bedroom is the best bedroom on the property. It shares one bathroom, but I don't need more than one bedroom at this point. So this would be a really cool house. Again, old dated bathroom. The, you know, the shower's off in the corner, but it is what it is. Then you walk out to the back, and that's the kitchen, and it leads to the backyard. I'm going to have a couple words for you guys here, but that's the kitchen. Looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Comment down below. What I like about this house is that that's a, this is a full ADU with private back area. What's cool about this is, you know, with the overall cost of the house being high, you have this immense rental property here in Venice, California. I could get like $4,000, $5,000 a month for something like this. So this is easily one of my favorite homes I've seen so far. Again, as we're planning for the future, this is the type of investment I would want to make. Looks like there's a little shed here too. Oh, no admission, okay. So that's something I would use maybe as like a little studio or something on the side there's a lot of unused landscaping but it's nice and then this is some sort of shared shed interesting interesting oh i see so the thing is that this shed is actually shared with the neighbors the realtor was saying that back in the day places like this in venice you just shared more things it was more of a community so that makes really interesting amount of sense here thing weird about this back house is that I'm a little too tall for the space but hey it's pretty cool investment property if you think about this area to rent it out for quite a bit of money like I was saying for maybe five grand a month because it's a standalone house put some renovations in it might even get a little bit more so really great investment opportunity in terms of an investment property overall absolutely amazing absolutely stunning yeah this back house might be my favorite the orange trees the little seat stunning made it back home just before the rain started it looks crazy out there rain's coming down hard but let me know if you guys like the vlogs man we're gonna do more of these i really want to make more if you guys want me to make more i definitely will we're gonna have great workouts in them just kind of showing my life here in california as you can see it's storming but it doesn't normally do that but i appreciate you guys love you guys make sure you subscribe to the channel man we're really gonna be doing some new things we're gonna take this very seriously i appreciate you guys i love you guys i'll be showing you more of my life as you ask for it again comment down below any other video i did you want <gasps> excuse me oh that you want me to do but I'm taking that raw, real content, not the super edited, nothing super crazy. Let me know what you think. Thanks.